Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about Hugging Chat, which is Hugging Face's new chat interface. Now if you did not know already, Hugging Face is one of the main open source AI communities which has a lot of AI chat models available to everybody. And the current version of Hugging Chat uses Open Assistant's Llama model, which is accessible on their website when you use openassistant.io. All right, let's get started on Hugging Chat. Now, the first thing I wanted to mention here is that any of the results that you see from the testing today is more a reflection of Open Assistant's Llama model versus Hugging Face's functionality itself. As you see in the bottom, the model being used today is Open Assistant's Llama model, which is using 30 billion parameters, and the generated content may be inaccurate or false. But I think keeping up with the spirits of the open source community, this is one of the best models to use versus GPT 3.5 or any of the other models from other companies which are not open source. And now if you click on the privacy button in the bottom here, you're going to see this important message that in the v0 version of Hugging Chat, all the messages are only stored on the front end. So it's not going to be used in any kind of research or model training. Usually when you're using something like ChatGPT, all the queries or prompts that you're making are being used to improve the model itself. But every time you use Hugging Chat, all the results are actually just stored on your browser. So if you clear your cookies, all the results will be gone. And actually you don't even need to create an account with Hugging Face to use this functionality. The next thing to mention here is that the code for the entire UI is actually open source. So if you click on this link right here, you're going to see that you can download this entire front end code and use it locally for a different model, which is not Open Assistant's Llama model. So there is definitely some space for experimentation if you're not happy with Open Assistant's model that is being used in Hugging Chat currently. And if you do get stuck, there is a place here where you can post any queries that you have or any kind of suggestions that you have for hugging chat. All right, now let's try out the actual chat. Now, I personally prefer this dark theme, but if you prefer a more lighter version of the chat, you can click this theme button and toggle it according to your needs. Now, like I mentioned, you don't need to log into Hugging Face for this functionality. All you do is click this new chat right here and your chat interface is ready to go. And remember, since this is not from OpenAI, the model is not restricted to data up to 2021. So let's start with this question, who won the 2022 Football World Cup? All right, it says, I don't remember who played, but it was France. Now, that sounds incorrect. They were playing very well last time I saw them on TV. Is there something else I can help you? Now, you might think that it just got the answer wrong, but if you look at the title, it actually says Argentina defeated France, and that is correct. So that's interesting that the model gets the actual response wrong and gets the title of the chat correct. So that's something that needs to be worked on with Open Assistant's model, and this is just interesting how it came out here. Now let's try something else related to the World Cup. Who played the quarterfinals in Football World Cup quarterfinals, and it just stops. So that's not good. Let me try this again. Which teams played the quarterfinals? So I don't think the model is doing that well with actual news. So continuing with my recent videos about my newsletter, I'm going to say write me a newsletter format for my AI YouTube channel. It says, dear subscriber name, we hope this email finds you well. We wanted to update you on some developments happening at my YouTube channel. We are launching several exclusive online courses. Well, I don't have any courses yet, maybe in the future. So this sounds pretty relevant, but it seems to have cut off the last word here. I don't know why. Let me see what it does if I say, please continue. All right, it seems to be adding a few more paragraphs and this time it comes with a proper ending of the email with my name and my channel name. So combined, these two messages look pretty good and I can use some of it in my newsletter maybe. Now, of course, there's some work to be done in the actual results from this model, but maybe there's parts of this email you want to send to a friend or a team member. Now, instead of copying this entire body of response in an email, you can click on this button at the bottom called share this conversation 
And when you click on it, you're going to see there's a URL which gets generated. So if you copy this URL and paste it in a different browser, I'm going to use Edge this time. Now you're going to see that the entire conversation shows up here without having any other user log in. And of course, it shows this message that this application is for demonstration purposes only. And when you click start chatting, and you can actually continue on this conversation based on this response. Now I'm going to say change the email to Chinese. Now, I'm not sure how much Open Assistant's model is trained on different languages because usually Hugging Chat actually comes up with the responses pretty fast, but this one seems to be stuck. So it seems to have broken the chat a little bit and there is no button here to stop the actual generation. I'm going to try something else. Make the email smaller. As you see, the last response is kind of still stuck and I'm proceeding to the next response. And this time it says, I'm planning to start an AI YouTube channel and was wondering about technical requirements. And this is kind of not what I was expecting because I wanted to create a newsletter for my existing YouTube channel. So if you're not happy with a specific result, you can just click on this button called retry and it's gonna regenerate this again. This time it comes up with a proper subject line and the body. It came up with the subject line which says, save lives by sponsoring our AI assisted medical equipment. And that is nothing to do with my YouTube channel, but I'm still curious about how it came up with that response. And it also seems to have cut off this email right here. Now, let me test something else. So I was in the middle of this conversation up to here when I pasted the thread on this browser and I tried this out, which did not work. And I tried something else, which worked kind of. Now I'm gonna click share this conversation on Microsoft Edge. And when I do that, now I see there's a bunch of different kinds of sharing options which show up, which did not show up in Chrome. I'm gonna share this conversation and copy this link and go back to my previous browser and see if it adds all the things that I did in Microsoft Edge. And now it continues the conversation from where it left off on Microsoft Edge. So I think this is a really cool functionality that Hugging Chat has, where you can use a conversation thread across multiple browsers without having anybody to log in. So let me try some coding. Write a simple Python script, generate random, numbers between 1 and 100. All right, it's using this random library and it's iterating up to 10 and generating random numbers. Change that to Java. All right, it says here's how you can write the same logic in Java. All right, I think it did a decent job. I haven't tested this code out, but it looks correct to me. Now let me try making this into a web page. Make it into a web page using script and react. Yes. All right, it's using the use effect hook to fetch random numbers only once and pass them through the state. All right, let me try creating something for myself. Create a landing page for my AI newsletter using React.js. It says here is some sample code that you can use to create a landing page for your AI newsletter. It has a place for my logo. Then it says, join our AI newsletter. Stay up to date on all things AI by subscribing to our weekly newsletter. It has a place for your name and your email address and a button called subscribe now with my newsletter logo. So I think this time it did a pretty good job with what I needed it to do. Now let me try appending something else on this newsletter page. Create payment button on the newsletter landing page. It says to add a payment button, you can use the PayPal package so I can accept payments on PayPal. It's requiring me to add my API credentials for the PayPal API. Then I have a click handler for my PayPal button. Then it added this button called place your order with this click handler, which actually executes the payment as it's showing right here using my PayPal API. And it also adds a message here which shows an error occurred when creating payment if it does not go through. But again, I haven't tested this out, so there might be issues here, but the overall structure I think is at least 80 to 90% there. And if something does not work out, there might be a little bit of debugging to be done, but it does come up with the first structure pretty easily and I think all of this here is actually usable. Now to end this web page, I'm gonna say, add a link to my YouTube channel on the news 
letter. Okay, so this did not recreate the entire code again and just told me to add an anchor tag. But overall, I think Open Assistant's Llama model is doing a better job at handling with code than asking for direct queries like these. But again, this is early stages of this product, so I would not be too judgmental and understand that this is still in the works. Overall, I'm pretty happy with what it came up with at its first attempt for my newsletter body. But that's all I have for today's video. But I hope you understood the potential of hugging chat on how how important this is for the open source community and I hope you got some value from today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.